Why People Fail with the Law of Attraction. This is Law of Attraction Secrets. Join Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach Robert Sink and prepare to be empowered. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're listening to this special Law of Attraction podcast, I am your Miracle Mentor, your Mentor of Light, Robert Zenk. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. You know, yesterday, Rachel and I were standing out in the front yard and we saw two beautiful eagles. They were kind of involved in the mating dance, you know, the, the tumbling and all of that. It was absolutely astonishing. And it reminds me why the eagle is an archetype of flying high. And I want you to be a high flyer because I know that you are. That's what you were born to be. So I'm here to help you in any way we can, and we do it every single day. But we'd like you to subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, wherever you're listening. Three lucky subscribers will win an audio program from our website each and every month. And we do that on Instagram, too. So come join us on Instagram. By the way, we're doing video on Instagram every single day. So we're really invested in helping you to empower your life. Be sure and click the bell icon because we go live quite a bit. And we like to share those live videos with as many people as possible. So why do so many people fail with the law of attraction? They watch The Secret. They attend a workshop with Abraham Hicks. Maybe they go to a Tony Robbins workshop and they start doing affirmations. They're listening to us on YouTube. They're doing affirmations, creating vision boards, but they still fail. Why? I'm going to give you five reasons, and there are more, but I'm going to give you five primary reasons why I believe people fail. And then I'm going to share with you seven things that you can do to start seeing almost instant results with the law of attraction. I mean, instant, quick, fast results. Number one, somewhere in the back of your subconscious mind, you believe that it's fake and not real. You think it's some kind of hocus pocus or some kind of, it's a fluffy new age thought or something like that, you know, and maybe you have shared some of the ideas about the law of attraction with other people. And they've told you how crazy you are for believing such things. Even though the greatest minds, the greatest achievers in our society, present and past, believed fully in the law of attraction. Sir Isaac Newton, one of the greatest minds in history, the father of physics, believed that the emerald tablet of Hermes was the secret to the universe and that it held all these powerful secrets, including the law of attraction. And he valued it. He, he gave a, an interpretation of it. And so great minds have always valued these secrets. The secret is the law of attraction. There are other laws as well. But if you believe that it's fake and not real, it's probably because you haven't done any research. You haven't done any scientific research. You haven't studied the Kabbalah. You haven't studied a little bit of quantum physics or quantum mechanics. And so you don't have an understanding of how energy works. And so you think, well, I'm trying this. People will say, well, Robert, I want to try the law of attraction. Listen to me very closely right now. Right now. Listen. There is no trying the law of attraction. You are living the law of attraction every single day as surely as you are living the law of gravity. It is a law. So 
if you've got crap in your life, if things are going bad, you attracted it. I didn't say it was your fault. I just said at some level, you attracted that into your life. Now, if you attracted a failing business into your life, you can attract a successful business. If you attracted a poor relationship, you can attract a relationship that's filled with love and passion. If you attracted poor health, you can learn to attract healing into your life. The law of attraction is absolutely real, but if you believe it's fake, you will have absolutely zero results in manifesting what you desire. And you'll continue to manifest what you don't desire because the law of attraction will continue to operate on your deepest beliefs. And if you believe it's fake, that's what you'll manifest. Number two only works for some people. You know, I know some people, they have all the luck and they like to use that luck word. You know, they have all the luck. They can make the law of attraction work, but I can't. And the truth of the matter is, is that you are an expert at making the law of attraction work. You're just, for some reason, attracting what you don't want. You're attracting a breakup. You're attracting a bad business, a poor career choice, whatever. You are attracting what you don't want because that is your deepest belief system. Everybody attracts equally. Some people have learned to focus their energy to attract what they desire. Others have not. Okay. You decide which person you'd like to be. Number three, only works some of the time. That's like saying gravity only works some of the time. You know, sit under an apple tree and watch the apples fall. You will never, ever, ever see an apple fall and then go back up. It doesn't happen. Gravity works all of the time. And so does the law of attraction. But I would advise some more education on the law of attraction so that you totally and completely understand that this is a scientific principle at play here. This isn't just some hocus pocus or wishful thinking or I'm practicing positive thinking. Sometimes positive thinking isn't so positive. Okay? You are about to experience a miracle. Claim your free 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. Visit www.lawofattractionsolutions.com. This is the number one podcast on personal empowerment, success, and the law of attraction. You're listening to the Miracle Mentor of Light, Robert Zink. Number four, you can't understand how something is going to happen. You have a desire, but you don't know how it's going to manifest. You have no idea. I didn't know that that beautiful Mercedes that I manifested several years ago was going to be sitting along the side of a road in an empty parking lot with a for sale sign on it. I had no idea that I'd be able to manifest a forty-five to fifty thousand dollar car for four thousand dollars. I didn't know how it was going to happen. I just knew it was going to happen. You need to understand that you have a, I don't know, you have an anti view of the world. You have a very minuscule view of the world. We all do. We don't see everything. But if you're connected to source and you're connected to your intention and you have absolute certainty and belief, then the universe, which does see everything, will work for you. And all of a sudden, the how is not important. It just happens. Five is your beliefs. You have negative beliefs. Well, I believe I'm not meant to have a loving relationship. Oh, I believe I'm not meant to have money in my life. Oh, I believe that people with money are not spiritual, you know, <laughs> or I believe that you know, I was uh, cursed uh, many generations ago. My family was cursed. You see, you've got all these crazy beliefs 
rocking and rolling in your subconscious mind, and that seriously holds you back. Now, those are five reasons why the law of attraction is not working for you. But let me give you seven reasons on how to get it working for you. Seven techniques that will help you right now. Number one, give up expecting instant results. Just do it. Sometimes the result is, is like overnight you go, Oh my God, I just, I mean, I've had people do the, uh, on our, one of our podcasts, we teach how to get somebody to text you. And I've had people, they didn't even get through the podcast and that person text. I mean, it's crazy. Sometimes it happens fast, 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 but other times not so fast. So don't have an expectation. Just know it's happening. Just know, believe with absolute certainty that it's happening. Number two, give a complete investment of at least 28 days, a full lunar cycle. You need 28 days of doing something, not 27. Don't say, Robert, I tried it for 25 days. Nothing happened. Give it a full 28 days, a full lunar cycle. And for complex situations, you know, uh, you may be going through a divorce that may take a little bit more time than 28 days, but give it at least 28 days. Every time you go to manifest something. Number three, focus on small manifestations, small tasks. This will help you build up a habit of winning. For example, you might say the night before, as you fall asleep tomorrow, I will unexpectedly find some money. I am totally confident and you will visualize yourself finding a penny, a dime, a dollar, a hundred dollars, but you're going to be absolutely certain that sometime tomorrow you will find some money. And here's what happens. If you forget about it, the next day you're likely to find some money. But if throughout the day you're sitting there waiting for it to happen, you're choking the energy and waiting for it to happen is another way of saying, I don't really believe in the law of attraction. So don't wait for it to happen. Just allow it to happen. It's that simple. Okay. Do it the night before. Forget about it. The next day, when you find a quarter or a dollar bill and you pick it up, put it in your pocket, remind yourself that you manifested this. Every time we go to the store, when we go to one of the big stores, you know, the big box stores where a lot of people, I create a parking spot so we don't have to park way far away, but we can park up close because we have Julian with us and it's just easier. So manifest that parking spot a little closer. Just see it opening up as you pull up. Okay. Little things like that. Get in the habit of manifesting little things every day. And that'll build up manifestation muscle. You'll start manifesting all the time, but do it daily. Number three, be passionate about mastering the law of attraction. Learn as much scientific information as you possibly can, particularly about quantum physics and really study the process of the law of attraction, how it works. Become a master. Say that, that one of my goals is to master the law of attraction. And as you start mastering it with little attractions and then bigger ones and then bigger ones, hmm, you're going to become stronger and stronger and manifest more and more of what you deeply desire. Number five, be consistent. You know, if you're doing affirmations, do them consistently. If you're involving and invoking gratitude, do it regularly. If you're using some other form to help you do it on a consistent basis. Don't be hit and miss. Number six, 
trust the process. As I said, give it 28 days, trust the process. Don't focus on results and don't focus on other people. I get this a lot with relationships. Well, he's doing this and she's doing that. And I heard that they were doing this and my competitors are doing that. That's focusing outside yourself. The doorway to transformation goes inward. So focus on yourself, on your vibration. And finally, this is really, really big. Keep a success diary. And here's the, the reason why. Every time you write down, oh, I found a quarter today after affirming it the night before, or I got a phone call from somebody that I put out an intention to receive a phone call from, uh, or, you know, somebody liked me on Facebook that I always wanted to be friends with. And you've done these intentions and you're getting good results. Write it down. Because as you go through this diary and as the pages begin to fill up, it's going to give you confidence and personal power. And that's, now that's like the aphrodisiac of the law of attraction, confidence and personal power. When you have those two working for you, you can attract anything you desire. Okay. This has been kind of a complex uh, podcast. Listen to it again. Share it with your friends. Thank you for listening. Keep soaring high like a beautiful eagle and have a great day now because you deserve it. Bye-bye now.